juice machine. You know, carrot juice, apple juice, celery juice is good. Grape juice, cantaloupe juice, broccoli. Oh, I don't diss it. I don't knock the juice machine. I used to do it in high school. Back in the late 90s, I used to juice. Oh. It ain't, don't taste bad. It serves a purpose when the time's right. right. Moving forward. Got the old uh, Cracker Jacks. Gotta love Cracker Jacks. That's all American. Don't get more American than that. I got the feature here. I think that's it right now. Oh man, oh, I'm stiff. Oh, I'm sore. Oh man, and my fetish beer it always starts with my fetish beer 90% of the time. I'd say 96% of the time, it always starts with my fetish beer to for females to degrade, humiliate me because I feel like I'm a loser. I never had friends, a social life, and females never really had a girlfriend. The most I'll be is an uncle in this life. It's pathetic. Oh well. Got nothing to really look forward to except cooking and food. It's really all I'm good at. You can tell I got a beer belly, plus I like to eat. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm trying to prop this up here. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Not bad news today. Hopefully tomorrow I'll find my social security card. I know I noticed today I lost my driver's license and social security card. What happened? First I thought someone stole it. I have to check tomorrow. I have some theories where it's at, but hopefully it'll turn up because my driver's license expires this year. I gotta choose between King Cobra. <sighs> Ice. I'm gonna show you guys something here. A lot of, uh, a lot of I've been working. You know, I work. Uh, um, let's just say I work outdoors. Uh, I do uh, do labor. You know, tough labor. Got a suntan. Uh, do some tough labor outdoors trying to get a job in my field, you know, um, I made dentures, at, you know, I got a dental technology certificate back in 2002, I'm trying to, other than that, kitchen is all I know, kitchen work, nursing homes, warehouse work, uh, I could be a chef, uh, I, right now I'm doing like, kind of like landscaping, I'm not really into clerical and light industrial. It's just warehouse. I don't got a degree. I'm not going to be a doctor. I'm not going to be a teacher. I'm not going to be an accountant. I'm not going to be a realtor. I'm not going to be a, a you know business person or electrician. I hate electricity. I'm not going to be a plumber. I'm not going to be a salesperson. I'm not going to be a independent business owner. So what else is left? I'm not a professional. What do they call them? Blue collar, white collar. I think I'm a white collar. I'm a blue collar. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just thinking about things because there's sources out there that can help you. I mean, I'm, years ago I went through net care. I mean, there's, I mean, I went to a disabled school, I'm disabled, learning disabled. I mean, I, I should be getting SSDI uh, disability and work part time. I'm entitled to it. I can fit. I could physically work. I could hold a job down. It's just that, uh, thing is, is I've never really had a job over eight years that was ongoing, like eight years. The longest I held down a job was like seven years. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of a job hopper. I've had over 50 jobs in my life. I'm not proud of it. Sometimes shit happens, crap happens. I don't know. I was never... I was never stable. Let me 
see what time this is here. Put it this way, I never really had a job I liked. Check this out, I got some salmon stuffed olives. A local store. And then I got some anchovy stuffed olives. Kind of cool. So, so, you know, probably taste alright. Pop the can one night up and, you know. Save it for all in family night. Shake it up. Gotta always shake shit up. You know, it sucks because where I work, there are a lot of hot chicks coming in and out. And I'm like, dudes at my work, they're like, holler, you know, say something to these girls, you know. Have some confidence. Have some kahuna. You know, try to get their number, you know. And dudes like, one dude's like, go up to a girl and just say, hey, you know, my name's Todd. What's your name? You caught my eye. You caught my eye, you know. I have an interest in you, and uh, you know, can we conversate sometime? You know, I lost my cell phone. Someone stole my cell phone. Can I get your number? You know, where are you from? What do you like to do? What's your name? My name's Todd. You know, can we conversate sometime? If she says why, say you caught my eye. You know, say how you doing? You know, you're pretty. What's your name? I might try that one day. I'm nervous. I always get. I always get shot down by girls. I always get rejected. I can't win for losing. It's been the story of my life. I was lucky to have Sabrina. The only reason we dated is because we both had music in common. R&B. We talked for an hour about R&B and then I was only 26 years old. She was about 26. So a few days later I went to her apartment. That was it. The rest is history. We dated almost three months. This is in 2005. That's the only girl I've really been with. Besides uh, a few other black girls that were like less than a week I was with. But they were ugly. <laughs> needless to say, at any rate, needless to say I was never with a pretty girl. <laughs> I don't know what it's like to be with an attractive female. I never French kissed. It kind of it pisses me off though. You know, I never made love, had romance, had a fling. No, no kinky, no just, ugh, just, ugh, it just irritates me. Uh, never had a high school sweetheart. Never dated in high school. Never dated in college. The longest I dated a female was like two months, and that was the only time, and that was 14 years ago. It's pretty damn sad. I'm going to be 41 in like a month. I'm going to be 41 soon. Well, I'm gonna stop. You know, it'd be really actually pretty okay and decent is you can. I'm a big fan of celery. I love celery in my cuisine. You know, celery root. You can do celery root chips. Big fan of Emma Lagasse. The celery and my Chinese food's really good. Celery cream cheese. What about celery cream cheese? That'd be delicious. Peanut butter and celery is good. Barbecue sauce is good. This is barbecue sauce. You take some barbecue sauce, I guarantee you. I guarantee you, you take some barbecue sauce. Open Pit's my favorite barbecue sauce. I guarantee you take a little dip and dab, put it on there. Take this to a different dimension, flavor. It smells good. It smells sweet, like a sweet barbecue. I mean, match made in heaven here. <laughs> barbecue heaven. Texas barbecue. We went to the source. When it comes to authentic Texas barbecue sauce, Stubbs has proven it's the real deal. The combination, the combo of our crispy potato chips and savory taste of Stubbs original barbecue sauce <coughs> makes for one legendary snacking experience. Just taste the results for yourself. Ed Hers, the president and CEO of the Hers Potato Chip, founded in Pennsylvania, PA, Pennsylvania, Nottingham, Pennsylvania. 
I've always been a hers fan. You know, Mike Sells is good, and I like Con's chips. Con's, Mike Sells, hers, and Lay's chips is okay, but they're they're everywhere. But I'm picky. I mean, I'm picky when it comes to stuff. But uh, man, that man, that, being around plants makes me itch. Oh, damn, damn.